Radio Pacific, love your culture. Hey, how's it going? It's your boy Zafifi and you're on the Yas Queen show. Unfortunately, we don't have Ama joining us. See, she is sick. <clears throat> Her throat's sick. But today we have someone who can handle more than four inches. <laughs> And yes, I'm not talking about nails. We have <laughs> Alex, also known as Rare White Butter. Hi, dog! Hi, girl! And then and then, how are and you? I'm good. How are you? Thank you for joining us. Man, no worries. So, very, very important person on the show today, guys. Stop. <laughs> but just to smooth everything out like mm-hmm. butter, mm-hmm. <laughs> we have an icebreaker. Okay. What superpowers would you pick, but yeah. it has a backlash? So you pick a superpower and I'll tell you what's wrong with it. Like, what's the negative side of it? Do I choose it as well, the negative side? No. Or? Oh, you'll choose it. <laughs> I'll choose it. Oh, for okay, you. okay. Uh, okay. Are we talking like the whole beta level? Like or any, mega? any super. Oh, me- oh. okay. Uh, okay. If I was, I'll go with something more simple. Um, it would be to influence people and things. Okay. So every time you influence people and things, your nails gr- are like it goes shorter. <gasps> oh. Okay. You know what? I can live with that. <laughs> You know, if that means like I can go up to somebody and say, give me a hundred dollars <laughs> and, and they'll give me the hundred dollars, I can get new goes. nails. <laughs> <sighs> so, mm-hmm. uh, you, you want to start us by telling your pronouns and what letter of the community you belong to? You know, I'm going to be very honest with you and I've been asked this question so many times. I still haven't figured that out. I don't know what I am comfortable with yet. Okay. I'm still like... Ooh, but like if I could um, Goddess would have been nice <laughs> If it was a choice if, if It could be It could be a choice could one be. day But we, yeah I'm still trying to figure that out I'm, I'm going to be that, that. That's like my 100% sure answer I don't know where I Which letter you fall which And letter, that is fine how I, Like which pronouns I use As long as people aren't being disrespectful Yes That's I'm okay Like if you, if you say he Fine If you say she Even better Say goddess. Yeah, I'm like, thanks. <laughs> thanks so much. But like in this, I feel like in this generation, especially my generation, yeah. it's it's such a big deal. It is, I realize. And, and honestly, I hate it. Yeah, do, see? I hate it yeah. because like all this, like like no disrespect, but like all these things that like it's just too much again. Eh? And now I heard this Zim Zem I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wait, wait, what? We just like, it would be nice if we stopped at they them. Yeah. That's it. Like, And then like, I feel like because of that, we get more backlash from straight people. Mm. Who honestly know nothing about us And then yeah. we add more things And they're like Okay these people just are extra Yeah And then like your people in our community Madanga, We're confused We're yeah, we <laughs> like Hey what's happening <laughs> Girl These are <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to tell us mm. Like what were you like as a kid Oh if my family knew that I was a, no, uh, Not a diva as in very feminine But a diva as in I called the shots when I was young. Okay. If I didn't like something being done, everyone knew I was unhappy about it. Like, I was that person <laughs> as a child. Like, you know, everything had to be done my way. Are you the only child? I'm the youngest in the family. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sense. So, yeah. And I'm going to be honest. Like, I was also considered... I could say I was like the pet. Like, everybody just loved me. I don't know why. I was a demon. <laughs> <laughs> you... You went from a diva to demon back to diva. To a dragon. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, since now you are working in FBC. Mm -hmm. To me, you are the face of FBC. No, stop it. No. No shit. I didn't know FBC existed. (laughs) (laughs) Until like you were there, you know, everywhere. Yeah, but thank you. Even like when I joined Mm -hmm. there, I was surprised that you (laughs) 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 walked. I was surprised you weren't in radio. Oh, yeah. Well, no, there's a whole reason why I've chosen not to be on radio. Okay. It has to do, be, do with con- the contract and everything. And I was just like, mm, okay, not for me. But like, I feel like if you join radio, how, they don't need the other people. <laughs> Stop. You're just enough. Like, the, no. The presence, they just give you the whole day shift. Man, <laughs> can you not? <laughs> From breakfast to midnight show. <laughs> Hi, guys, this is Alex. <laughs> So, mm. like, of course, since you were this amazing person growing up. You're amazing who well. I, I look up to you so much. I'm, Stop oh, it. So much. Zaf- but you are the great Zafifi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, like, did you, were you ever bullied? You know what? I'm going to be a very honest. No. Never? I would like to say I was a smart gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, like, honestly, so, like, we grew up, when my, my first few years of schooling, we grew up overseas, right? So... Oh. I just from there I just knew how to 
adapt. Being one, I was one of the only few brown children in my year. What? Okay. So okay. it was learning about okay, playing smart, you know. And then when we came back to Fiji, I uh, my family put me in Maris Primary. Okay. So Is Maris Primary are all boys school. All boys school, yeah. Okay. So when I was in Maris Primary, I also learned how to like you know adapt to the boys. The boys. Like, the boys. <laughs> And then I went to some grandma, and then I was like, oh, yeah, I'm a girl. I mean, it's <laughs> obvious. So it was like, uh, like you know, uh, I was never bullied ever. Like, nobody ever tried to do the whole, we can go read. I was never put through that. It was just, I think it's because I was smart enough to know. To you know, like to who know. not to mess with? Or? Not really, not who to mess with. Like, um, more in the sense where I was just smart. Like, you know, you have street smarts? Yeah. I had gay smarts. <laughs> Like, you know, I knew okay. how to, like, and I didn't let anyone, like, like talk over me or anything. No, I had a mouth on me as well. Okay. But in the sense where I was just like, okay, like, only if you wrong me, then I will fight you. Okay. But if you're not going to do anything to me, fine. I It'll be it. ponies and rainbows. Okay. Sir, so pretty much, yeah. It. So basically, you are like, I mean, you are very intimidating. No, I'm not. You are. How? I am one of the nicest gays I know. <laughs> I have other gay friends who are evil. Joseph. <laughs> yes! You know who I'm talking about. She's mean. And everyone keeps saying, like, no, you should meet my friend Joseph. <laughs> She's evil. No, no like, you, you're not mean, you're intimidating. Like, <gasps> you are. automatically have this presence. What where, presence? Where people don't want to mess with you. Never. No, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a humble Christian woman. You know, that's how I see myself. You know, I just try every day. Just, just, just I make try. peace and love wherever peace I and love Peace everywhere. and love, yeah. Smiling and waving. So, uh, so that's that. Like, that's yeah. your childhood growing up. You went to Maris. Ma oh. Primary, yeah. <laughs> Maris Primary and also Grandma. Yeah. But since now you have so much fame. I I still don't consider you it. You still don't consider no. it? But I love that, like, I started following you during COVID. Yeah. That's when you, like, really, like, you had this... Um, uh, Big boyfriend name. What was his name? He used to call him like, "Go get me lashes." <laughs> yes, yeah. And I was like, you know what? I love. <laughs> I live. So ever since you had this really amazing growth on social media, mm -hmm. have you ever dated a fan? No. 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 Uh, like I've had sex with a few. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like this is gang. Like, hey, love your videos, man. Thanks, gang. Vadavon, Gori, where are you? <laughs> oh, I here. Yeah, pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> I. I mean, you know. If, if, if the boys want it, I'm going to give it. If they want it. If you you want heard it. it here first. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it right here. Mm. So, is like, do you think dating is hard for you? Or is that like you would right now focus I, I, it's on not, something it's, else? It's not hard for me. It's just like one thing I've realized being gay here, especially in Fei J, is everyone's <laughs> been with each other or they've <laughs> done each other. And like, you know how they say, like, you know, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Not in the gay community in Fiji. Not in, like everybody knows of each other, have done each other, and like if you want somebody new or fresh, they're either supposed to be somebody that's coming from overseas, or you're waiting like, and this is the thing. I hope I don't anger anyone. You're just waiting for the person to turn legal. Yeah. If it's fresh meat, no, I'm oh just saying. My God, yes. No, yeah, that, and that's that's our sad reality because everyone, your age, my age, we know who's who, who's who, who's done who, who's been with exactly. exactly. So like, there's really not that many options here. And also, the closeted ones are like really not ready for that. Yeah, you that's, know they just yeah. the closeted ones in Fiji just want sex and that's it. That's it, and that is sad. Uh -uh. It's like every time I'm on Grinder, allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> if my mother listens. To me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fine. nice app for people, mom. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I'm on Grinder, it's mm. like people will just they just want sex. Exactly. That's and like it. sometimes you don't want that. Yeah. And another my other problem is that I have this list. And it's like my even my friends have said like girl you need to get over yourself like no I know that this is what the Lord wants for me <laughs> and my like my happiness Do I like have the, so the list is like one you better have like a good paying job yes that's the main thing two you better like um, have a be somebody that I can have banter with have mm. a good conversation with also your big big heart <laughs> a big big heart, a big huge heart. heart. And like you also have to be ready to take me to church. Okay. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Because like there are times where I just don't want to go to church, but okay. I need that person to be like, no, babe, we have we to We have to go to church. Yeah. Okay, to, daddy. We have yeah. to keep a connection with the Amen. Lord. Yes, <laughs> let's go, daddy. <laughs> Do you have any inspiration? Because for me, yeah. like local inspiration is obviously you. International oh, is Rupert. Oh, oh, amen. <laughs> oh yeah, same. Uh okay, oh uh, main inspiration, man, it's funny. So it's my mom and Queen Esther. What, your, okay, I understand your mom. Mom, yeah. 
Queen but Esther. Queen Esther, I mean, look at that lady. She had to lie. She had to change her name. She had to. She spent a whole year of preparing herself with other girls, and she got chosen by the king. See. I want that for me because I've been pre- I've been preparing my whole life <laughs> <laughs> for that one night with the king. You like, waiting I'm for a ratu? Exactly. So, so Queen Esther, my idol. She's my idol. I love her. <laughs> I was gonna ask you, what does it feel like to be a celebrity? But, no, like, no, no, no. but you don't consider. Okay, what what would you call yourself? Like, you know, if you're not a celebrity, or would you I, go influencer? No, not even that. Not even that. I I I'm just somebody who likes to post up stuff on social media. That's basically it. Okay, so a normal. How does it feel to be a normal human being that posts with up. certain advantages or status? Because oh, status. You man. know why I say that? Why? Because one time I wore uh, the Today FM shirt. Mm-hmm. And I went to MHCC. We had an OB. Yeah. To get food. Yeah. And the lady who was at the counter told me, "Hey, hey save that boy first. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, do you get things like that? Like, do people treat you like slightly differently? Are you in the club and like the uh, bartender is like, "Oh, yeah, one jug just for you, free." I get takis every now and then. Free takis. Free takis. Yeah, you know, humble, humble, <laughs> humble. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't know, like, uh, for me personally, and, and <laughs> I don't like the term. Uh, Celebrity or local celebrity, yeah, or even social media influencer here, because the way I see it is like I mean I know there are some like I could say one person who's definitely got a huge social media following and she I can say she is an influencer is um Shania. Shania because, oh my god! Because the thing about her is when she posts up contact, especially about businesses and where she goes and yeah. eat or she uses a product. People actually use it, or people go to that place. So to me, I'm like, okay, you're an influencer because you're influencing people to buy the product you're promoting, go to the going to that restaurant that you're promoting. So I'm just like, to me, in my, like, I just know, L- L- Fiji wise, she's like one of the she's real the one deal, of the best. you know. And there's also Shaman, love her. <laughs> she's cute, <laughs> fashionable. <laughs> Man, no, Shaman's all right. I like her. She's funny. It's funny. She but made- yeah. I mean, and like the term celebrity, the only people I feel like who are true celebrities here in Fiji are the rugby players. Because you go overseas, people know them, know them, you know? Speaking of rugby players, yeah, who is like everything to you? Man, you know, it changes every time. It changes. You know, every time I see a good looking rugby player, I'm just like, mm. I want to marry. It makes me, it makes me tingle. <laughs> and it's always the new ones. It's always the new ones. It's always the new rugby Would players. Would you consider playing rugby? Not with these nails. <laughs> and if I if I did ever play rugby, like they better find some make like make up some special gloves for gloves that. Gloves or something. <laughs> yeah. No, but like it would be good. Like, can you imagine you playing rugby? Man, no, because I have a bad temper. Like, okay, one thing about me, like, I'm very competitive. Like, try me in a quiz game. I can have the wrong answer, but I'll be screaming it. <laughs> you know, yeah, ah, ah, even if I'm wrong. So yeah, I, I mm. and if they're in, like being in rugby, that's a contact spot. Oh, that's not a good thing for me. I'd fight. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, like what fight are we talking? About? Like, oh, the ball flew. No, like, like scratch. Like action and fight? swear and get like you know the red card for what bad language <laughs> on the field, eh? and then sweat the referee again. <laughs> So yeah, we don't see you playing uh, rugby nah. anytime soon. Nah. For, uh, one question: Your nails, yeah, always so on point, and mm-hmm. we all know who does it: Black Sheep Peach. Yes, Belinda Wong. Shout out to them. How do you manage? You just get used to them. Because I've seen people will always ask mm. weird things like, "How do you wipe your bum?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just get used to it. Okay, well, like say, like you have to adapt basically okay. in a nutshell. Like for like going to the toilet, taking the sheets. Mm. If you're gonna like, um, what open the door? Use your knuckles. It's and all about adapting. I've seen you like in one of our meetings where you were holding the pen very differently and writing in your notebook. Yes. <laughs> so it, like, it must be. Re- it is it easy for you to do like everything at this point? Like you don't have to worry there, about. No, anything? there's some things I can't do. Like? like I can't wear shoes with laces, so most of my shoes now are slip-ons. <laughs> yeah, I can't because like my nails get in the way. Like it looks like I'm knitting when I'm trying to put on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, when I'm trying to put on a shoe with the uh, laces, yeah, I can't pick up coins off a surface. Okay, I have to slide that. Uh, can't use chopsticks. Certain doors I can't open. Certain doors. Yeah, okay. especially when a uh, car doors, because my nails get in the way, and then I have to I like tap on. Like if I'm uh, catching a cab, I'll have to ask the driver, "Can you open the can door?" Can open me? the door yeah. for you, and he will. He, they're all so nice about it. Lovely, we love that, and also with your nails and everything mm-hmm. have you ever like gotten like 
other businesses reach out to do your nail? No. So you just go to Black Sheep? Yeah. And how long have you known Black Sheep? Whoever the first does. time I did a set with her was towards the end of 2021. And then after that? It's just been her. It's just been her. Like, it's, it's just that been her. good. I remember like watching your nail. <laughs> and I remember I got my nail done once. Yeah. Like not that long. Yeah. I was just like just there. But like I, I still couldn't do anything. I took it off. I just wore it to work just to show it to people. <laughs> I went home and I took it off. <laughs> it was so, it was so crazy. Yeah. But the thing is about like getting nails this long, you can't just do it overnight. You like, so like we started at one length and we just kept going and going and going and going and going. So right now it's four inches. Oh no, for this set. Uh, see, the thing is like we went back to three because it's cuter with this particular look that I've got okay. going. If we went longer, it wouldn't look nice. So there are times where I go from three, go back to four, then, you know, switch up the length. So it depends on the, the look of the nails. The look of the nails. Yeah. And is it always what you, like, is it like something that you see somewhere? It's just like some one day you just wake up like, <gasps> pink nail. It's a mix, a bit of both, really. A bit of everything. There are times when she'll even say like, girl, I have this idea. And I'm like, yeah, sure, do it. Do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. And then I go to her and I'm like, I have this idea. <laughs> can you make it? Yeah, sure, girl. Yeah. I love people that could be like, you know, I can make your dreams come true. Yeah, and that's one thing, I, that's why I keep going back to her is because she makes my dreams, especially with my nails, come true. Have you, like with all this, um, like these nails and everything, mm. you have such beautiful hair. Have you ever yeah. thought about doing drag? No, you know why? Why? Because, okay, like, so I remember, it's it's 2013. <laughs> I met my friend's party and she's like, girl, we have to get dressed. Why don't you try on some dresses? I put on a really nice looking dress for the yeah. first time in my life, 2013. And I realized that I'm built like a dude. The broad <laughs> show. I'm a rugby player <laughs> in a dress. Like I have, I have, I, I, I'm, I'm a boy boy. I'm my a boy built. Boy. I have, there's nothing femme about me. So I, that dream just went out the door. <laughs> yeah. So I would never see myself in drag. Even with padding, I know. Like the padding will never help. <laughs> <laughs> it will make you broader. Yeah, exactly. And like, okay, you know, like now we have so much franchises of Drag Race. Mm -hmm. If we had one in Fiji, mm -hmm. and if you were asked to be the judge, would you? Oh, 100%. <laughs> if, you, if you're in the judges panel, who would be two other people you think deserve to be next oh, to you, wow, judging that's with you? That's a really good question. That's only, or not only a good question, but that's a hard question. I would definitely want somebody okay john apton for sure okay because john's been around the world you know he's been everywhere he's been everywhere he has a lot and like you know he's not only is he intelligent and such a marama but like you know for this kind of show he'd be the perfect fit he'd be the perfect, he'd be the perfect fit, fit and i think the second person that would be part of the team or the third person mm, that's gonna be hard but i would like to see queen wanda from o'reilly's because she's one person that's been very like you know um, with the drag shows. With yeah? the drag shows so, in like, she needs to, I was like, girl, you've been one person who's been pushing this since I think, I think it was back 2015, 16 when she started with the drag shows. Yeah. So I'm just like, you need to, because basically you're like mother with that scene mother right now in Fiji. Scene, yeah. yeah, so Wanda, John Apted, May, and obviously we'll always have a celebrity guest judge. And like, you know, like, why don't you join as well? Oh no, I want to compete. What? <laughs> yes! I want to compete. Yes! Okay, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I don't see myself judging that. Yeah. I see myself winning. Win, yes! <laughs> oh, I, I love that. Claim it. I remember watching, like, when I first came out. Yeah. So, only my mother knew. So, mm. it, because, like, a Muslim family are really hard, right? Yeah. So, my mother knew. Yeah. And accidentally, my auntie knew. <gasps> what about accidentally? Accidentally. Oh, okay. Is that, like, she was going through my phone. Mm -hmm. And she, she saw a picture of me and my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, cute. Look, my ex-boyfriend now. Yeah. And then she started crying. <gasps> I don't know why. And then she starts crying. She goes, she goes to my mother. She starts crying. She goes, Zaif was with a boy. I saw the picture. And I'm like, it's okay. Hmm. It's fine. Let him be. And then I thought she wouldn't like me, but she's like my favorite auntie. Yeah. And then she, she hugged me. She's like, it's okay. Then she introduced me to Drag Race. I remember watching season 11 with her. Yeah. And then I was obsessed. Yeah. So I saw season 11, 12, 13 with her. And then I watched season one. And I watched every franchise. And so I'm obsessed. Eh? Yeah. And I always tell my mom. I forced her to watch it. I'm like, I'm going to win that show somehow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I and love she goes, that. I see that. I was like, of, co of course you see mm -hmm. that. You raised me. Of course you see me winning. Yeah. And with Drag Race Cape, how I started dressing. And some of my clothes that I have at home is made by me. Oh, I love that. It's just basic bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's made by me. Oh, oh, wow. Yes. 
Oh my god I have a question yeah. Okay so you're competing First season of uh, Drag Race Fiji. Fiji What would be your drag name? It's the Fifi Star Ah <laughs> Yes Thank you to yourself I love it, that It's like I feel like Zafifi is my alter ego. Alter ego. Yeah. I feel like Zafifi does things Zahif wouldn't. Yeah. So Zafifi is that girl. Mm. And so like anyone fights like I'm Zafifi. Yeah, yeah. So And I think that's a common thing with every gay. Every here. gay they have like, like you have yeah. rare white butter, right? I, actually that's one. That's my, <laughs> what? I, man, man, my friends always make fun of me. So that you have okay, rare white butter. Okay. Then there's the funny thing, you have rare white butter, there's King says Ali Berry. Okay. That's my thingy on Instagram, on but that's Instagram. also like my bougie self. Like I feel like she went to the Lady Diana Spencer College of yes. the Pacific. She's that girl. She's she's a graduate from Harvard. Yeah, that's King Gory. That's King says Ali Berry. And then there's Betty. Betty is my uh n- like you know my uh Karen? Uh no not, not Karen, <laughs> but more like the the ghetto girl. The ge- ready to fight. And she's called Betty? Yeah, she's called Betty. And not Bina? No, not Bina Betty. Be- <laughs> Betty. <laughs> Have you like ever fought with someone like physically? Yeah, a couple of times. Especially like that's why I don't like drinking. Really? Because like I'm I'm one of those people like I'm I'm not a bad drunk or anything. Yeah. I I do have my messy moments. I will <laughs> you know I, I'll admit that. But like when I get really mad, I will throw hands. And I'm not gonna ask if you win. I know you win. <laughs> oh, usually. I mean, like I've definitely I've been hit so hard I couldn't know my left from my right. Okay. But like I I was happy that I fought against a straight dude. Okay, you what know? is what is up with this straight dude fighting? Man, I don't know honestly. This uh, uh, the other time we were in the club. Yeah. So I have a lesbian friend. Yeah. Who has a girlfriend? Yeah. And then these guys come up and ask for her number, and then I pushed him away, and his whole group of boys just looking at me like, Oi. Mm, yeah. And I was like, come here. Yeah. I'm waiting. Come here. And the uh, Amma is not here. If not, she was like, babes. I'm ready to throw hands. Yeah. And then I told him to, uh, I told his group of friends to get your guy from here. The whole night he was just staring at me. I was like, you know, I'm not going to drink. If they're ready, I am ready. Yeah. They didn't know I did karate. Yeah, girl. <laughs> My parents were like, you need to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Please, you need to fight. You need to learn how to fight. Exactly. You just can't be laying in bed doing mm. nothing. You need to learn mm. how to fight. So but if it's the one thing, I always make sure is like the person has to throw their hands first. First, yeah. If, yeah. I'm not going to throw my hands first. I went... Yeah. According to the law, you can stop it there. Yes. Yeah. And we're Christian women. Christian I mean, women. and you're a Muslim girl. Yes. <laughs> and I, I love them. I, yeah. I hate Javi. Oh, by the way, um, happy, happy how Ra- do you guys say it? Happy Eid? Eid Mubarak? No, not yet. It's Ramadan. Oh, happy Ramadan. <laughs> <laughs> it, it comes later. Okay, okay. So, what are the craziest adventures you want to try in life? Oh, a uh, crazy adventure I'd like to try in life. Definitely, um... Uh, end up with one of the Olympic uh, rugby player winners. <laughs> like, that would be like, I would be a star. Like, you know? You know, manifest that and that happens and yeah. you listen to the, this podcast and like, oh, I said I it. I said it, it came true. An Olympian was in me. <laughs> you know? Yes, affirmations. <laughs> uh, can it even be like, oh, uh, well. It could be anything. Anything. Uh, I would definitely want to be in a video clip for Beyonce. Okay. You know how like some of our uh, video clips is it's just like that one model or that one celebrity or that one actress just like just staring into the screen and that's it. That's uh, it. For like three seconds. I wanna be one of those girls. Don't you do that for teapot talk? No, but I'm talking about Beyonce here, <laughs> doll. Beyonce, mother herself. <laughs> you know, either her or Riri. Either one. Either one. Either one. Okay, this is a weird question. Oh, but okay. like Ooh. it's like a like it's like a DM that came for me to ask Alex. <laughs> it goes, What is your f- Weirdest but favorite smell. Weirdest but like it's weird, but you like to smell it. Okay, um, man, <laughs> we can't swear, yeah. We can't swear. Okay, um, so when I'm eating the behind of a male, <laughs> you do <know> this. <laughs> yeah, I love eating, especially when you know you get them like these are those really tough, tough wannabe boys, and then you eat them so good, and they go, Ugh, and you're like, yeah, I made you do that, you know. You make you make them squir- uh, squirm like a girl, sound like a girl. Like yeah, baby, I made you do that. You know, you you're Mariah Carey right now because of this mouth. Uh, okay. I did that, Daddy. Me. Okay. So, before before. So you, the smell from there. Before you continue. Yeah. If you don't mind, like the listeners knowing, what's your position? Oh, I'm a power bottom. A power bottom that eats. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> bum bum. Yeah, we'll to this. <laughs> it's bum bum. It's bum. That, that, you hardly see that these days. Oh, I love it. No, because like, it's that power. Because yeah? like, I, I, I'm i not trying to my own horn, but I've been told by so many guys that I know how to eat bum bum. 
and like I know it's a talent and and like you know just getting that uh, from that guy that you know you know he plays he plays club rugby he's always with our boys always acting tough yeah <laughs> but when you get him to like when Vili Kessa goes uh, you know, you've won you've won the battle so yeah it, it's it's not because I'm really into it. it's more like a, like it's a power play kind of thing yeah you you like being pa- you like being in power not in power but I like making I, I like seeing the results that you I like get the- from you know that moment you're giving electra oh thanks you, you know when she was walking in the dominatrix uh, scene <gasps> oh yes that that's what i'm feeling right now yes oh uh, okay the smell part is over like i don't know why people want me to ask that but it was like people have been asking me over and over the like, scent from that. this one person kept messaging if you ever get alex on your show can you ask what's his favorite smell mm. but like but there's remember so i also do this thing so <laughs> man how do i pg this <laughs> <laughs> When I'm eating from the front, you know, I always do this thing. It's a smart thing where I um I do like a swipe while I'm eating from the front, but the swipe is happening at the back. Oh, okay. So that and then I will slowly in a way while I'm eating from the front and I do the swipe from the back. The back. I'll make sure like my hand slowly comes around my face for me to know that it's a good scent. Ah. And if it's not a good scent, then I'm not eating the bum bum. <laughs> I'm going to stop, go wash my hands, <laughs> like sanitize, <laughs> and then like, yeah, and if he tries to say like, hey, what's up? like, no, hell no, <laughs> yucky. <laughs> I think people here really need to know the process if, yeah. if, if you're going to bottom. Oh, the bottom. See, that's the thing. It's different with everyone. Yeah? Yeah. So like, I have friends who do douche. Yeah. I don't because uh, I tried that once and it just didn't react properly with my body. So I, uh, I don't eat. So now when I do it, when I go into the full period, the full motion with of the, the ocean, ocean with another person, um, it's more like a okay. Am I doing it this weekend? Might as well. So I don't eat from Friday, <gasps> and then I'll see what happens over the weekend. I don't eat the day before. Yeah, and I douche. Oh, you do that? Yeah. yeah. You're so blessed because I can't <laughs> douche. And and I didn't know this. Like I used to be a top. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Used to so be. Fi- oh, okay, so fi- okay Used to be, Welcome but to now I'm a verse. <laughs> now I'm a oh, okay, verse. okay. So there's like certain guys yeah. that I bought them for. Yes. It's not everyone. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So when this guy was like, I really liked him. I mean, we still sleep together, but we're not dating. Yeah. But and then one time I was like, why don't you try it? And I was like, I don't know what it is. Mm. And then I had to Google it because. I didn't expect my mom to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, mom, I'm going to do anal. I'm going to get it in the bum. So can you tell me what I need to do? Like, yeah. You don't expect her yeah. to tell me, right? So I Googled it. Yeah. And then from there, then I started like, I said, oh, so this is what you do. So the first time I did bottom, mm-hmm. oh, I was bleeding like nobody's business. Oh, yeah. No, I, di- I didn't expect that as well. And then I had to call my friend's boyfriend who was the doctor and ask him, is it okay? And he goes, yeah, it's okay. I was like, okay, that's fine. Mm. So... But like most people don't know about that. Yeah, I, I mean like uh, when that first happened to me, I was like, because like, you know, when, you, when you're when you in high school, you learn about like, you know, sex and all. And like you'd hear from other students, like especially the girls, like, oh my God, so I heard Gina did it and she bled. Oh, <gasps> Gina bled, Gina bled. So that's what happened. So I always thought only girls only bleed. Only girls bleed. So then when it first happened to me and I'm like, I'm bleeding. And I'm like, am I a girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. But then, you know, finally I was like, oh, okay. No, right. It's supposed to be. Yeah, I mean, it's not like even the older queens come to us and say like, I will teach you a secret lesson. Yes. No, that doesn't happen. I feel like we should have like this just workshop where just gay people come and just openly just talk let, about yeah. things like this. This is what happens when you, you know, yeah. you play house. <laughs> <laughs> because like it, it's hard like to see like, if, like people don't know this. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's like sad to see like, I, like that's how like I hope this podcast like brings the change that we need. Yeah. I know it's like a small step. But you know, and it's but it's something, yeah. Like, yeah. That's what Alan said. Like it, it's something for people to know about your community yeah. because it's not always like the outside world sees us as like comedian. Yeah, like basically they think we're a joke. We're a joke. We just entertainment. Yeah, for them. yeah. They just they just want to look at us and laugh. Mm. That's all they care about, and which I think is really annoying. Mm. No, I totally agree with you. Like, uh, so. For example, uh, this is cousin and I. We're the, we're, we're the originals in the family, <laughs> and we have younger cousins who, like, who we can tell are up and coming. Yeah, and we've always told them because you know I did have we did have this one cousin who's like uh, he um, he's in primary, 
but he's being messaged by older people. <gasps> and we're primary? so and we're so happy that because he sees so my other cousin's more trans, she's like she's more femme, you know? She's yeah. basically a girl. Yeah, okay. And then there's me in the family. I don't care what I look. I'm, I've got a beard, nails, lashes on, all that kind of that stuff. Yeah? So cousin comes up to us and it's just like, man, this happened, and I, I'm so happy he came up just to tell us. Yeah? I don't know what to do, and and we just had to tell him like, you know what? Say no. One, it's wrong. That's pedophilia. Uh huh. And like you know that person like you know, like could go to jail like you know da 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 da. That and what he, what he's doing is wrong da 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 da. And um, so we and we had to give him the whole talk, like you know. And then we were telling him, you know, we both lost our V cards like after high school. We didn't do. It. And he was like, oh, because all my friends are all doing it now. And I'm like, no, honey, no, no, no. no. So like, you know, like that that situation. Eh? So now like, one thing we I make sure is like if I do have another family member that's up and coming, yeah. very obvious, going to be like another Beyonce Rihanna. <laughs> I'll always make sure I get close to them so yeah. they're comfortable enough to ever ask me questions. I will be that cousin. I will be that auntie to be like, okay, this is the four one one. This is what you do. This is what you don't do. I you feel know? like in my family it's just me. Oh well, it's good. Now you'll be the matriarch, <laughs> the fabulous gay matriarch. So when the little ones come up to, they'll be like, oh, auntie. But surprisingly, the yeah. only person that knows in my family that I'm out is just my mom and one of my aunties. Well, the rest of how's that going for you? I don't. They never noticed. <laughs> <laughs> they never noticed. <laughs> And then, because they never notice, is because I always post with girls. Oh, uh, on my stories and yeah. like, so you know the it's girls and the gay have this <laughs> whole uh, code of conduct, like yeah. unspoken rule. Yeah. So we take pictures like we're dating, so they convince with them. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> that's fine. So I'm like, but like, even if they is like, I know one of my friends' mm-hmm. nephew. He was like, I think he's trying to come out to her, and he's just in, he's just. Six or seven years old. Oh man! And then he was telling that cousin, uh, my friend, that like, oh, I think I'm like Zahir. Yeah. And then she told me, mm-hmm. and then like I started talking to him, and then he was just like, okay. And then he goes, I, I like this boy, but not like this girl. And then like yeah. I was telling her, go tell him it's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Mm-hmm. And then that word came to my mind, like, it's not. People always say it's a choice. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not a choice, girl. Like I've been, I've known. Like, I, like, how, how did you find out? Like, when you you were this? Like, oh, I always knew. Always knew. Like, I always always like boys. Like from a young age. Like, I mean, not really the boys, but like, uh, first of all, just being very feminine. Yeah? So I always had this uh, sus- like um, the suspenders back when I was small. Yeah. And they open from the sides. Yeah. They could unbutton them from the side. So I would always pull them apart to make it a dress and run around. Okay. Uh, with my cousins, I'd only hang around with the females. I never liked hanging around with the boys. And even in, would you say even in family function? I was with the girls. With I was the never girls, with the yeah? boys. I couldn't like. I was like, ew. Why the like yucky? Like go go hang with the boys. Yeah? Do the boy things. I'm the girl. <laughs> do the boys. Do things. the boy things. <laughs> I was like, ew, ghetto. <laughs> uh, <laughs> honestly, and then um, the the moment I knew I was starting to like boys was like high school. Oh. You know when the feelings had all of that happened. All of that happened. And I'm just like, oh, no, this is wrong. The Bible. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a good Christian girl. No. Yeah. And then I just got over it. And I was like, okay, I like men. I feel, I feel like it. Like it takes time to convince yourself. It does. It really does. Especially with the upbringing we have here in the Pacific, uh, which is very lovely. It, it, oh, it's, side eye. You know, so honestly, <laughs> side eye. To the man. It was probably like it took me. Like what? I remember this one time. Mm-hmm. Like this was in my first episode. How like. My mother told me, eh, like, if I ever be that way, yeah. she meant like if the girls and stuff, she'll kick me out of the house. Mm. And I remember one time she actually hit me because like I took my shirt, I wrapped it inside out, making like a bra. Yes. And I was like with all the girls and I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then she saw me and she hit me and she said, if you ever be like those gories, I will tell mm. you to leave. Yes. So when it was time for me to come out, I, I had my back, bags packed. I was back, ready yeah. to leave. Yeah. But then she did and she hugged me. She said, it's okay, yeah? Yeah. And then I was like, at peace. But during that whole process, like in primary school and in high school, I came out in Form 5. Mm. Before that, I I think I I used to pray it away. Oh, yeah. Uh, I did that. I feel like a lot of gays do that. Yeah, like, like Lord, don't do this. Yeah, Lord, like, please, please like, me, yeah. like, if I did something wrong, like, punish me, like, like don't do this, yeah? Uh-uh. But then finally, I came at peace with that where I read um, in a religious text where it says, 
it's between you and God. Mm. So that's when I came to peace with it because, like, at the end of the day, it is between me and God. Yeah. Like, and the fact that how people have you noticed how people quantify homosexuality is like the biggest sin? Exactly. And then everything underneath is okay. Yeah. Like if you're an alcoholic, oh, that's fine. You know, if you if you're somebody that beats up your wife, eh? like you, we all have that one cousin, that one uncle. That, that beats up the wife, wife, but everybody says, "Oh no, it's okay. Oh, they forgive each other." But being a homosexual is worse. Worse. Oh my, you bring a curse upon the family. <laughs> what? But Uncle Charles beating Auntie Cici <laughs> for a long and time, and she was in a coma. <laughs> but my sin is be- like really, I and and like you know, not only that, then you uh, fa- like there's so many things. There's so many things. But like, being gay. But like you could rape someone, you could murder someone. Exactly. The worst thing you could do. Yeah. But if you compare that to a homosexual. Yeah, automatically. I'm, that's. I mean, I, I I've heard of uh, friends yeah? and other well, not just friends on, but other stories about like how family members can keep like the story of an uncle raping a niece. Yeah, that's quiet, right. and they can forgive each other. And there's actually what traditional way of doing the whole forgiveness thing. Yeah? But lo and behold, Inoki wants to listen to Beyonce. <laughs> Inoki will be tied up in a bag, beaten up by all his male cousins and his brothers until he becomes straight. until he be, like I don't get that. That's so silly. That is so. Why? Why? I, just, I feel like the Pacific has this really bad uh, yeah. way of handling things. Yeah, and 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 remember, let's just bring up, go back uh, to the, before the, this all happened because of the missionaries. I'm going to be honest with you. Not the white people. Yeah, the white <laughs> people. Yeah. Actually, that like before before like this whole colonization thing yeah before that like they were people who were like that gender and third society gender. was I okay mean, with it I mean you have it in Tonga or they still practice till today Tonga somewhere where they pick one child yeah who's like a group of boys if there's they pick that one to do all the female duties right mm. and, then, still- and then you have also the what the fuckalities and the uh man I see this uh, this is why I was the wrong gay to bring <laughs> on the show but like yeah you know yeah the third gender you have that. You have it in um, Tonga. You have it in Samoa. I know for a fact we had them in Fiji, but somebody must have like pulled it out of like what records. Like, no, there'll be no homosexuals in this country. Yeah. I have a feeling that that's what happened. I feel like that. All, yeah. it, it happens everywhere. Yeah, because most cultures all do have like a history of a third gender. Even like Hinduism, which is one of the greatest popular uh, like people that follow Hinduism, there's like a lot. Eh? Mm. They're gods. Yeah. At their gender. So, like, what makes you think, like, people like that wouldn't exist? And did you see... Uh, I blame the missionaries. <laughs> <laughs> Blaming the missionaries. Uh, recently, there was a shooting in America. Oh, yeah. And the only thing that they focused on, the shooter was transgender. Oh, yeah. I, that's the first time, like, that has happened. But now, because of that, they'll be like, transgenders are, like, not murderers and stuff like they'll that. They'll shoot. Bitch. They'll shoot anyone. Shoot anyone. And I'm but, just like, well, look at your history of all the straight men. Yeah, that matters shit. Yeah. But like, one thing I'd say, like, I know this will make a lot of people angry, mm. is like, they did what they did. Yeah. <laughs> like, if that makes me sound bad, like, I'm so sorry, but the number of things that happen to trans people, mm. and now they finally stood up, but in a wrong way. Yeah. But they did do something about themselves. I remember the conversation like that came up in a group chat eh? and this is like this is everybody it's the entire spectrum of the community <laughs> we're all in this one chat man it was everybody had an opinion yeah you know and I was just like and I'm gonna be honest with you I, I'm still stuck about that whole situation that happened in the States I'm yeah. just like whoa damn it now they have another reason to hate us even more yes eh? like really girl <laughs> did you really have to like, you really had to I, take I, it I that? get it you went through stuff but really <laughs> Come you on, we're, we're all, everybody's gonna be affected now. But like you know, yeah, everyone has a right to an opinion. But like, yeah, uh, what she did was, like, oh girl, uh, girl. <laughs> Nothing to think about. Everyone. Yeah, I, it, it's very hard. Eh? It's a very hard, especially when you're from the community and you're like, ooh. Like, how do we come? Where do this? we? Yeah. <laughs> how do we? And like, where do we stand? Where do we stand? Yeah. I you mean, know? if if we support them, then we are wrong to everyone else. Mm. But then the other way, like, it, it doesn't matter which side we pick. Yeah. They'll still hate us. They'll still hate us, which sucks. And even with this show, the amount of hate I get so on social media, and I'm loving it. Embrace. And no, and you know what? This is probably coming from people who just uh, uh, like can't, don't even hang around people like us. Yes. You know? And they make like fake accounts. Yeah. 
Like, show who you really are. Exactly. It's, it's okay. You can come out of the closet now. It's 2023. Man, honestly. You know, I, I, that's a big sign to me to know that if a guy is like 100% a cisgendered straight male, <laughs> if you're able to like kiki with us, have fun with us. Yeah. Oh, okay, sad. But the moment you get all like, I do, I do have know some straight guys who just like, man, I'm sorry, like, but that's because those are some gays who get a bit too much on them. Eh? Yes. Like, the touchy, the flirting with them. If a guy straight to me, if a guy straight guy says no, I know. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, we've no, established like, that set. But like, if you like, like, you know, the swearing happens or the pushing, the jabbing, I'm like, whoa. That's next level. Oh, you want me, don't you, daddy? <laughs> I used to be like that in high school. Like what? I, I remember I bullied this boy. <gasps> Cause he was a girl? He was he was like out to everyone and I hated that. Yeah. So I like so he he transferred from Dudley yeah. to the horrible school I went to, which shall not be named. <laughs> Man, you go name Dudley again. <laughs> he transferred from Dudley. No, <laughs> Dudley's a good school. Mm. A school I went to hmm, questionable. So he, he was transferred from Dudley to my school. Yeah. And then I bullied him so badly when we moved on to the next year he decided to repeat and that's when it hit me like I'm such a bad human being like I bullied him to a point where he stopped coming to school it's a and he repeated oh, no. and after I came out this was my final year and then he went to another year I, was like, oh. I went to him I hugged him I was like I'm so sorry for everything that I did and then now I'm like anyone just bullies you let me know I'll beat that person. Oh, I love that. And are then, you guys still friends? Still like we today? are still friends. Oh, I love that. Always messages me, goes to USP. Like, I'm so proud of what he's doing, how mm-hmm. far he's come in life. It's just like, overall, what I did now, now when I look back, yeah. it's like, oh, that's such a bad thing. You're such a mean girl. And this is now, this is, you see in movies as well. <laughs> yeah. It's it's the, like, the, the homophobes, are the, the bullies. The ones who really can't express themselves. The really closeted ones. Yeah. That all of a sudden, they decided to, like, punch people up uh-uh. and just be like all hate and stuff I remember in high school like when people would ask me are you gay I'm like no I'm straight <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I answer them. no I'm straight I'm straight I'm so straight like you have no idea how straight I like, am I'm so straight like uh, I suck <laughs> <laughs> but honestly yeah high school high school was fun for me I'm not gonna lie it's I good. think it was also because you know how I said I was like the smart one? Yeah, the smart gay. No, not the smart gang, but like I was smart enough to hang around with the pretty girls. Because no one, like if you're friends with the pretty girl, no one can like, no, no one, one can come for uh-uh. you. It got to the point where I'd have senior boys approach me and be like, hey, can, is that one free? I'm like, hmm, I'll think about it. Like I'll... you have privilege when yeah. you're with the pretty girl. Uh-uh. When you're, when you're friends with a pretty girl, ooh, that's but I it. was the pretty girl. What? <laughs> but that, I love that. Even today, the haircut that I got though. Yeah. My mom was like, why don't I get a haircut? I was like, I look, I want to look like a boy. Wow. <laughs> and then she's like, okay, sure, why not? <laughs> but yeah, like being the pretty one is so hard. I mean, I mean, you can relate. No, I'm no, I'm sweet. <laughs> it's a very humble. I think humble. I'm just, you know, I'm I'm sweet. <laughs> <laughs> we should have had Joseph here. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, that queen. Next time we should have you and Joseph. Oh my gosh. No, just have Joseph. <laughs> He, he'll be the whole show. What? I just ask press, yourself questions. I just the press record it. <laughs> we just chill. We just chill. And he'll just talk and talk and talk. And like, you f- like what what do you like to watch? Just like randomly. What do you, besides uh, Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> anything. Any, uh, anything that makes me like my like uh, uh, that's an escape. Okay. And to me, an escape is like if I'm going to watch, going to the cinemas, I'm going to watch a movie. If I don't touch my phone, not even like not not even to check the time. Like to me, I know that's a good film because my entire focus was on it. Like that that escape. Eh? That escape. Okay. So like yeah, like I'm not into like just one genre of film or one like a certain documentary style or whatever. As long as like my attention's on you from the beginning to the end, set. That's what I will watch. I think if that's the case for movies, is it the same for music as well? Like. You listen to what you like or oh no music is different it's just... in the sense where like that song has to turn into a music video clip in my head <gasps> i like, love that that's me like that's how i know i love a song when i'm the, i'm basically you, singing the song you feel like you you in the video like yes. secretly recording you yes i always do that in the bus Girl. on a rainy day a Woo! rainy day and i listen to adele and i'll just look same. out the window oh my goodness <laughs> Same. That's me. Like that's how you know the song, song yeah. is really good. Good. What is the like the hardest thing? I mean, like you have said, like your life has been 
like so great. But besides, <clears throat> what is the other hardest thing you had to face in life? Oh, I think it was when I first started in media. Hmm. Uh, there oh, were times... Would you want to like start like your journey of like your work, like how it started to from where you are? I mean, from where you were to where you are right now. Man, I wish I w- I want to say it, but like I I'm no Jackie Spade, I'm no Andy uh, Andy Blake. They had better. Not- they have better stuff. I'm gonna. I'm not lying. They you know Alan Stevens. Me, they're not. I'm not Alan Stevens. <laughs> like you know, those those are like alumni alumni. Like you know, for my generation, yeah? Yeah. these are people like I look up to. It. But like my ge- like me, I don't know. I was just somebody. Okay, so this is what happened, and I I don't know. People don't know this. So I used to work at FBC first when I. My first time okay. having a real job. I was only at Today FM for like three months. And then I got really drunk one night. And I was supposed to do a morning shift. <sighs> and then, so all, all I remember is that when I got back from the clubs, I turned to the person in the reception. I'm like, hey, Maggie, wake me up at uh, 5 a.m. so I can do the shift. She's like, okay. <laughs> then I go to the studio, sleep. I wake up, doll. And I'm in my house. And it's 9.30 a.m. <gasps> and I'm like, oh. <gasps> Yo, what happened? And then at that time, Alan was my PD. Okay. So basically, if you don't know what a PD is, that's a program's director. That's a person who's in charge of a radio station. So he was PD of Today FM at the time. And then I called people at reception. I'm like, yo, um, who's on air right now? Alex, do you know what you did? And I'm like, what? What did I do? Oh my God, did I swear on air? La, 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 la. And they're like, doll, you really do. Like, I, maybe you just find out later. I'm like, no, tell me what happened. <laughs> When we woke you up, yeah, you came out of the door into the foyer and you pissed all over. <gasps> yes, that's how I felt. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And so for those of you who've entered the FBC foyer, it's glass windows. And then you went to the other glass window where Today FM is now. Yeah. That used to be RF1. Okay. The Tala Tala for RF1 was coming out and you were sprinkling yourself on the glass and he saw everything as well. <gasps> So I like marked my territory there, girl. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, no, shut up. And I thought that was worse. And they're like, wait, but how did I get home? We had to call your mom. <gasps> so my mom had to come pick me, literally walk into the station, pick me up from under the console. Yeah. And drag me out. And I was gone. And I was so even more embarrassed because she had to ask my neighbor to like help with big uh, take me home. So ever since you have you haven't gotten that truck. Oh no, I've gotten. I've, <laughs> I've had worse stories. Can you believe that? Oh, I'm Queen Messi. My friends call me. Wor- there's worse, but we won't get into that. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to give my whole like you know start from the bottom. Now I'm here's the situation. So yeah, that happened, and then I, I bet get Ellen home. saved you, eh? Oh no, no, that kind of situation you can't be saved. <gasps> you can't. So I already knew. I expected. Okay. So Ellen had to just give me the call like yo and like I need to see you come Monday. Okay. Uh, so I mean tomorrow because it was Sunday morning eh? I was like oh okay I already knew I was going to get fired okay the one thing I hated was that I had to get my termination termination letter from Shami Lachan yeah, you, you know yeah. Shami head of radio and at that point her office was, situated, was situated on the other side of the building so literally by this time everyone at FBC knows what had happened to me of course. I had to walk in walk past everyone who knows that I was the girl who peed <laughs> to pick up my termination letter and it was so funny because then after that, uh, you know, I went home. I, I actually, that was the first time I cried. Like, I was like, I was humiliated. I was Because it's such a good job, eh? You don't want to lose it. You don't want to lose it. And like, at that time, I was just young and dumb, you know? Because like, I was like, oh, I'm making money now. I can do whatever I want. And then I went drinking and that I basically ruined my life. Yeah. And because of that, what happened? And then my cousin who worked at CFL, she was like, yo, F96 is having auditions this Saturday. I heard what happened to you. Why don't you come and try? No, I'm never doing radio again. Oh my God, it's so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Shut up to the auditions hangover. <laughs> you know, but learn my lesson. Yeah, but no, shut up to the thing. And then next minute, that afternoon, that Saturday, got the call. Hey, Alex, guess what? You've made it through training. You want to, uh, uh, we'll see you on Monday. And yeah. I thought it was a joke, yeah. And they were like, oh, like, no, no, this is for real. And then that was 20, yeah, that was 2013. And then did ready for two years. And I joined the sales and marketing team as a copywriter between 2015 to 2019, left. And then partied two months of just doing nothing in 2019. Just partying, partying, partying. Then I realized, oh, girl needs a job because girl has no money. money girl, girl is money's finished. And then 
so I applied here, 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 here. And I'm going to be like, you know, it was, I, I, my mom thought I was being selfish, but every time I would get a call and I'd find out how much I'd be making, I'd be like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> ew, no, that's not for me. She's like, Luvengo, that's not how you, be. and it's anything from the, this is a sign from the Lord, you get it, you tell, no, mommy, I just know my worth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I know my worth. I'm not worth 10 grand. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, I got the call from FBC and they're like, hey, well, come, what, do you want to come for an interview? And I was like, okay, cool. Went for the interview, set. Well, actually, no, the interview was more over the phone. The day I had to start, that was so hard because the last time I was there, I peed. So this is 2019. I'm standing outside. It's 7.30. I'm just smoking cigarette after cigarette. Okay, okay, I got this. Cross over. Okay, no, I don't got this. Go back, smoke a cigarette. And then... Uh, that was 2019 May, and now it's 2023, and I'm me. Still in the FBC. Still the messy queen. Still the messy queen. Yeah. 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 So whenever someone, like, whenever like new people come, like, la 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 la, please, I've marked my territory here. <laughs> Don't talk. Literally, I've marked my territory. <laughs> I remember the first day when I was called for the interview. Yeah. And I was sitting and I saw you. The f- That's the first time I actually saw you on the other side with the glass that you were doing this with your nails. <laughs> and I was like, I want this so bad. <laughs> I saw the girl next to me, Layla. She's like, is that Alex? He, he waved at you. That was me. <laughs> and when you started following me, that was such a big thing. Such a I came, I came around here and showed it to everyone. Look, Alex. <laughs> Does he follow you guys? No, he doesn't. <laughs> he hurt my story. Does he like it? No, he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like holding this like I, I, I like holding this oh, power yeah. at the station <laughs> and, and th- that also I like to be that girl in the station yeah because my show does absolutely well good our, and that's a good thing our Instagram post for Radio Pacific yeah they get around 100 likes that's fine that's good for them yeah but I mean, that's good for that's them. okay for them like I love that <laughs> the sky's the limit that's the limit <laughs> for them for me when I posted the Yaskin show is coming back yeah. it got over 400 likes oh that's huge on the Radio Pacific page yeah so, yeah. that's, so every time someone says something like, are you number one here? <laughs> are you number one and here? It's hard when you're the Beyonce of the team. You, you can't help it. Yeah, there's so much pressure on you. <laughs> they People just don't understand. Like life is hard. At, like Ex- Being gay is already hard. Yeah. Now having a show. Yeah, and being the Beyonce again. Uh, only you could relate. Why do you think you're my first guest? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, Alex loves you. <laughs> So, is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Oh my god, that means I talk too much. Uh, no, you, you, oh. you talk, girl. <laughs> but I'm a girl. Queen, you know. <laughs> um, oh, oh, what? I don't know. Uh, my main goal from now, like right now, the the dream, the dream, <laughs> okay, is to be the first Fijian to be like uh to be an uh, uh what do you call it to be an EGOT winner. That's oh. the Emmy. That's the Grammy. That's you wanna be the, ne- the you wanna Oscar, be the, the next Tony. Viola Davis? Exactly, because I all because I can't sing. Yeah, so I've always had like, man, I want to be. You like- can sing. I heard that. Uh, I saw that TikTok of you and Ratu. You were teaching. Ah. Oh, no, can that- you give us a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bad voice. I my whole family knows. I'm like the only person that can't sing. My family, but like you know, for years I was like, I want to be an egot person. Da 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 da. But then I was like, man, I can't sing. So how can I win the Grammy and the Tony Award? And then Viola Davis won. And then I found out audio book. book. And I'm like, wait, I can talk. (laughs) I don't need to sing. I can. I I can win a Grammy by being on an audio, by doing an audio book. So that's my plan to be the first Fijian to be an EGOT uh, title holder, winner or whatever. Can I say something? Yeah. I see that. Thank you. (laughs) I see that. I see you winning the first ever Fiji like drag race Pacific. No, you know what? Fiji's too small. The first full on South Pacific because I saw Australia drag race. Man, they need to cancel that. (laughs) (laughs) No, you can't say that Queen Kong, Queen Kong listens to the podcast actually. Oh my God, I'm sorry, (laughs) darling. I love you though and that's all that matters. (laughs) I was so surprised when this one uh, last year? Yeah. Is that... Okay, with that being said, I have the greatest show. And also, the first person here to get international recognition... Girl! ...was from Queen Kong. <gasps> where I was talking about her on my show. Yes. And then someone showed it to her. And she reposted it on her story. Oh my god. So that's how you know, don't mess with me. These people here really... Yeah, <laughs> they, they better recognize. They be- Actually, and that... Like, but for the ego thing, I do see that for you. Thank you. 
could you like do the listeners a favor and talk like like in your man voice? <laughs> I can't. You know what? I've tried so hard like lately. Like I can't. If it's either I like. I just can't do it, or I, my body won't let me. Okay, I could just try, just try. How? It was a request from Alan. <laughs> a boy voice? Like a man voice. I, do, I don't know. Oh, you're gross. Oh, but I can't even do that. <laughs> it's just not in me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he's left the building. He, he left he's like he's long gone. He's, that's, that's, it's only woman up in here. It's only woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is this on a high note? Is there something you want our listeners to know, like, like a quote or it's anything? You want our listeners to know just just last few words from you. Um, there will be times whether you're you know you're you're part of the community or even if you're straight or whatever. In life, there will be times where you can be really passionate about something and people will read it as you being pushy. Yeah? And I've been in that situation so many times. But you shouldn't let it get to you. It just goes to show like that's a good sign when people read you that way. That just shows that you're somebody that thinks outside the box, that you're not a sheep, you're not a follower. Because I, uh, that's one thing my dad always taught me, may he rest in peace, is that when you start, um, especially in the workplace, eh, when you start, um, when people start getting angry about your opinions and your ideas, you know you're actually doing something right. Yeah. Because they've always gone with that flow or that culture and you're there to be the difference. Yeah. And also at the same time, if you're going to be that different, also be smart about how you... Because there are some people you need to be very careful. And I've always learned that. Eh? Yeah. There are people even in FBC now, I've just learned and I've, I've just learned to adapt. Yeah. Because if you keep pushing, pushing, pushing there, they'll keep pushing, pushing and there'll be like no solution. There'll be no movement. It's all about adapting as well. Oh. Basically, you just have to be smart about your surroundings, your every situation, and commit everything to the Lord. Amen to that. Yes. And that was an end for the Yas Queen show. And oh. I was Zafifi. And I'm Rai Wai Ba, a, <laughs> a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we always do this thing where we both yell the Yas Queen show. Yeah. Okay, so three, two, one. The Yas, Yas Queen! Oh, I thought you were saying the Yas Queen. Oh, so just Yas Queen. The Yas Queen show. The Yas Queen show. Okay, yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. The, the Yas, Yas Queen, Queen Show! show.